So if you're finding yourself tweaking tweaking settings and and with re WSAD and um, you're tweaking everything that you know how to tweak and you're still getting like it's not moving the way you want, um, there's always going to be that little bit of a gap. It's never going to feel like a mouse, but more than that, like I was having a distinct issue um, where. It was as if I was having a full-blown dead zone up to this yellow line, and movement was only happening at this point, and I was getting whiplash on my camera because of how distinct it was. And I checked the game settings, I checked the settings in here, there should not be a dead zone, so what the heck is happening? And it came down to, if you're having that issue, or like I said, if um, the stick just isn't moving the way you want, whether it be sensitivity, you don't really know. It's really hard to put words to those kinds of issues of sensitivity, because it's, it's a movement. How do you describe a movement? But I'll just leave it at that. If it's not moving the way you want, this might add that other layer of custom ability to give you um, that feel or close to that feel that you're looking for. So if you notice on ReWSAD, they give you two dots. Of ref this is two dots. Go here, two dots. Go here, two dots. Okay. But when you go down to custom, they give you four dots. And I'm like, oh, snap. You know, added layer of custom ability. I can just, you know, tweet. Maybe I want a little flat point here, whatever. Uh uh. Uh 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 uh. And I don't know if this was the intention. If it was, I should have laid it out. But really, what this comes down to, the TLDR, is that this being f this dot and this dot should be there to set your lowest and highest range of custom ability, of sensitivity, I mean. Otherwise, you're going to be working off of all these other platforms where the, your starting point is here, your ending point is here, and that could be the problem in itself if you don't need this full range. I have a heavy hand, and like FPS shooters like Call of Duty or something, I'm playing like I'm like a level 4 sensitivity, sometimes 3, um, so I can't use that full range. That's how I get messed up, and those where this dot is placed and this dot is placed is going to has the most influence on... Um, how your entire range of motion feels. So I'm just going to show that by this is distinct example of I have Star Citizen open. This is a harder one to customize because it's not optimal. <laughs> it's <laughs> if you know anything about Star Citizen, eh, she she's pretty, but she, <laughs> anyways, they claim to have natural support. There's nothing natural about it. So I'm coming in trying to change some things. So this is what the range of motion looks like with my current setup. So I have this flush up against the wall, this flush up against the wall, and by moving this flush up against this wall, I got rid of that dead zone issue, that invisible dead zone, where now the stick moves as soon as I want it, as soon as I want it to move. So I have a little bit of dead zone, that's my choice. And then a little bit of movement, I'm moving, like thank you. Okay, but this is how it looks like going um, all the way, full, full analog stick max range. So this is me maxed out, okay, so I'll just do a quick, a quick circle like that. Now, I'm going to go back to re, re WSAD, and I'm going to take this dot just a little bit off this, and I'm going to take this dot a little bit off the wall. And now, by moving that off the wall, now the program is going to work from this point to this point now, and that will change the entire range. So we'll go back here. Now, I'm going to do a full circle. So maybe this is, this is maybe this is maybe this is the sensitivity you want. For me, I'm like, excuse me, I like my head to the same place. Like it's just so look how different that is, and that's not touching those two center points. I was spending so much time adjusting the entire line, this entire line here. Um, and maybe this is common knowledge, but no one broke it down like that to me. Um, I was spending so much time adjusting. This guy, this guy's like, I want it to be slow at the beginning, and I don't want that to be that fast. And don't, don't do that. First, set up this point and this point, and don't worry about these. Only worry about these after you have this point and this point set at a place that feels right to you, and play around. And this thing, in my opinion, is much more sensitive than it it uh, looks to be. The point from this top square, this line here, to this line, will feel very different. So that's great in my opinion because that just means that you know you have that much more to work with. Um, but just respect that process and um, so start off with that. And that that might be the solution for you if your stick is not really doing what you want it to do and it feels like no matter what you're doing it's not working. Maybe that can do it for you.